So, my fellow investors, it is the day after the election, and I, man, that was that was the, that was the greatest. Oh my goodness, that was the most craziest night that I personally have had. Uh, pretty much this year. Pretty much this year. We just got the results. Is official. We just got the results from the New York Times and the AP that Donald Trump has won the United States presidential election for 2024, becoming president 2025 through 2029. So it finally happened. And I just got to say one thing. I just got to say the, the one thing I just got to lay down right here. And that is thank you, the Lord Jesus Christ, for having mercy on us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people right now are saying like, oh, you know, we, we got it back. We got it back. It was because of Scott Presser. No, guys, let me tell you all something. And uh, um, I'm going to get I'm going to get uh, religious when it comes to this, because it's actually all just one thing. Everything is connected. Politics, ec economics, you know, religion, all of that is connected. The one who put Biden in the White House in 2020 was Jesus Christ. The one who put Donald Trump in the White House last night was Jesus Christ. So no matter which way you look at it, that is really it. Yes, Jesus Christ was the one that put Biden in the White House because we needed that. We honestly needed that. The country needed to know what it was like to feel God's wrath. And the Lord, Jesus Christ is good. He gave us mercy last night. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So this is... I mean, it's, it's, it happened. Hopefully we get to see everything now tenfold that we saw from 2016, everything good in 2016 now happens in 2025 moving forward tenfold, but what it took to win this election, it was insane. It took Trump to get shot. Elon Musk is endorsement RFK to join Trump, Tulsi Gabbard to join Trump and Joe Rogan to, to join Trump, Scott Pressler working nonstop in Pennsylvania, flipping three counties, two of which he wasn't even in. In fact, if we take a look at Pennsylvania right now, Pennsylvania Bucks County, which is the one that Scott Pressler was in, flipped two Republican, he even said since like 1988, Centric County, which is, this is Penn State right here, flipped to Donald Trump and Erie County flipped to Donald Trump from 2020 giving Donald Trump Pennsylvania. Oh my goodness. Also flipping Wisconsin, as you guys can see right here, winning by around 30,000 votes, or at least getting called by a margin of 30,000 votes. And also Georgia as well, guys. Georgia, that was insane last night. They refused to call Georgia for so long, but they finally did, winning by around 100, a little bit more than 100,000, 120,000 votes right there. Michigan, you guys can see that Michigan has 95% of the vote already in, and uh, Trump is up by nearly 91,000 votes on that one. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, markets are loving this. Markets are absolutely loving this. I mean, if we take a look at the overall markets right now, we can see that Dow is up 3.1%, guys. The Dow is up 3.1% right now. Oh, man, and the, and I'm I'm doing this live, so you guys can see that yeah, as of 10:58 a.m. right now. The Dow is up 3% right now, 3.07%. Looking at the S&P, it is up 1.8%. And the NASDAQ, it is up 2.07%. Now, another another few companies that we got to take a look at here, it is none other than, uh, well, uh, let's take a look at DJT for a second because DJT is up 5.75%. Now, yes, yes, yes. I was the one that was saying DJT will be a trillion dollar stock by you know, if Trump gets elected. Okay, it's not fine, fair enough. Still though, I would, I think DJT essentially is, um, yeah, not from a fundamental perspective. I don't consider it still an investment because we don't have enough fundamentals for it, but from a, I guess, logical perspective, it's a company that won't go bankrupt anytime soon, <laughs> unless something dire were to happen. Right. But we also got another company that does deserve a lot of credit. And, uh, by that, I mean the owner of the company, Tesla up 12.79%. Wow. 
yeah, so, uh, hopefully everybody, uh, if you guys got calls on Tesla or sold puts on Tesla, you guys are making out like now, right now, like a bandit. So there's one more thing that we got to show and uh, you guys can see it right here on the screen. And that is Bitcoin. Bitcoin, it is up 6.88%. Near $75,000, $74,407 as you guys are seeing this right now. So you guys can see that markets right now are really loving this. Markets right now are really, really loving this, which not really surprising, right? I mean, you got Kamala Harris being like, we're going to increase capital gains tax to 44% or something insane like that. She was also saying that she wanted to do a 25% unrealized capital gains tax, wanting to give people $25,000 in home assistance for home buyers. I'm just like... I'm just like, oh, no, 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 no. We don't need this. We don't need this. We need, we need to get back. We need to go back to Austrian economics. Stop with this money spending, please, for the love of God, please. So, obviously, we know this is good. Trump is friendly when it comes to oil. Trump is friendly when it comes to mining. Chips right now are absolutely loving it. I mean, you got tech bull, bull run right now. Uh, mainly because of uh, of the election, right? Trump win, red sweep should be quote unquote very robust for tech. Absolutely, it'll th it'll just make things a lot more cheaper to buy, especially with the with the drill baby drill, right? A lot of people are probably going to comment on this, being like, "But the tariffs, but the tariffs." Okay, who cares? Number one, if we can get rid of first of all, no taxes on tips, no taxes on overtime pay. A lot of blue collar work will will love that. But man, if we could just decrease the income tax to the point because i get it it's it's cauterized in the in the constitution which is other bs okay if we could just get rid of you know those two taxes and then just lower the income tax or something incredibly low we're talking like one percent flat across the board that in itself would more than cover any increases that we might actually get from tariffs which would only be temporary so i'm glad this happened Thank you, the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, the Lord Jesus Christ, for having mercy on us. That's the only thing I could say right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, this was anxiety riddled. It was absolutely insane. So the only thing I got to say before we head off, guys, we'll probably be doing a second video for today, honestly. But the only thing I got to say is Republicans, Trump, you 100% won the presidency. You got the Senate majority. It looks like we're going to win the House. We won the popular vote. In fact, let me show everybody this as well. The popular vote has been won. Kamala Harris, 66.72 million to Trump is 71.58 million votes. So we won the popular vote. We got the presidency, Electoral College. We got the Senate. And where it looks like we're about to win the House. This is an overall rebuke of leftist ideology for the past more than four years now it's been like a decade in the making so hopefully this switches back everything hopefully entertainment switches back to being normal gaming industries go back to being normal only thing i gotta say use the mandate use the mandate trump use the mandate republicans we gave it to you use the damn mandate you got two years don't don't fight be lockstep in the house in the senate and in the presidency be lockstep just go just use the mandate to completely overhaul like change as much as possible in these next two years please my only request so guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe comment it really does help here on youtube as well as rumble thank goodness rumble sustaining and here on x as well even though you know i would just like a like here and a repost on x Cubans for Trump, I will probably be putting out a video later this afternoon about how uh, what we expect for tomorrow because the FOMC is tomorrow. This will be interesting. So peace out and we'll see you all next time.